Welcome back Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome going for a Shocker's Pillars. So today we shall declare war on Kalinga here just because I want to have another border with um, our Schmacker here so I can get more claims going and of course I can eat him from both sides that would be fantastic. If I do a war on multiple fronts then he's going to have a bit of a hard time trying to do this. He's got no gold um, and he is currently fighting a war at the moment. Um, which is interesting, so I think I have enough time to take on Kalinga here, quickly occupy everything, peace out, and then get ready to gear up with the war against Hushmaka. I think I can do it in this episode, um, there's no reason why I can't. I'm now making 20 summit gold per month, I wonder how. The fluctuations are a bit crazy, I wasn't making that at the end of last episode, I was making like 6 gold per month, but um, oh well that's fine, at least um, I'll, I'll take that, I mean hell yeah I'll definitely take that. Um, what do I do here? Do I want to upgrade the size of the army? Not yet. I don't think I want to. Not at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this gold to good effect. And we'll see in the cities that I have where we can start kind of banging on some, maybe, some lives, some academies and all that sort of stuff. And what about here? Do I have a spare room? I do. So we'll go for live academy. Um, actually, no. Let's go for an aqueduct here. We're going to need that. Let's go for an aqueduct. This reminds me here, I'm actually going to build a... Actually, we'll go for some um, farming settlements here quickly. Because we are, like, low on food. And I think that could be useful. Especially in the province capital here, we're not making that much. So I'll actually spend it on that. And what is our tech rate now, by the way? It's at 81%. It's not bad. It really ain't that bad. It's way better than it was before. But anyway, let's get on. Bim Bamboo. So, we'll get the forces down to the south. Get them ready to take on Kalinga quickly, and then we'll just take on Ashmaka as soon as we can afterwards. Uh, Promise loyalty is going up in most places now. It is so much better than it was like five episodes ago, where it was basically critical. Um, Jalika Pajarota died, poor dude. I need a new governor in Bactriana. So who am I going to place? I want to place the best man for the job out of a major family who's not corrupt. You're not corrupt. You've got commerce income and... Civilization change. You would do just fine, buddy. And now it's working. So he's kept the right policy, which is good. He's rising over here now. This is fantastic. So thank you very much, buddy. What is it like now, the map? Look at that buddy spread. This is fantastic. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Um, I've got another daughter now. Our guy has got how many children? He's got three kids. He's got you, who's not bad. Who's my tutor, by the way? Miserly, tolerant, humble, kindly, cancer. Can you educate my boy? Maybe he doesn't educate my... Oh, he can. Tudor hair. Tudor hair. Let's tutor him. Let's get him a martial education. Are we corrupt, ambitious, or cruel? I, I don't know if he is corrupt. No, he's not. So we'll give him a martial education. Just because I want an extra kind of martial stat on him, it would be quite nice. So he can command armies at some point. Maybe he can have tactician or something. It would be pretty cool to have that. Um, anyway, our troops are in position. We're going to stop the speed and we are going to go to war. Now, they're bringing Shola and stuff, but I'm not bothered, really. Um, you've got no manpower, so it's going to be so easy to take you out. We'll take Radha. Let's go. I have another trade route, by the way. Oh, because I'm no longer importing stuff, am I? Okay, that's why. So, we need to import... I don't know what I'm not importing. I'm going to wait to the end of the month the what the surplus is that I've lost. If you're going to go here and take that, you're going to march straight down there. So what surplus have I lost? So I've lost the livestock, which I will get. And then I'm going to take maybe some extra grain here. This is a good opportunity to get more grain, actually. Just so we can feed us. So that's fine. I just lose the bonus due to precious metals. It's not that much of a problem. Alright, let's go on this fort here quickly. Come on, buddy. Taking forever to move. Um, who else has joined the war? Yeah, not many. And they're all down south anyway, so they're really not going to trouble us. And by the time we take this, it's just going to be all over for the guy. How much gold am I making now? 25 still. Not bad. I could probably up the size of my armies over here. The granaries have been raided. Um, I'm going to pay them for myself, I think. Yeah, I'm going to pay them back myself. I'll go into a little bit of debt, but at the end of the month we should be fine. There we go. I didn't have the horrible event associated with being in debt. 
Um, oh, I beat his army here. That's good. I didn't notice. My bad. And we stack wiped him, so that's even better. Um, our son has had a miraculous recovery, so that's great stuff. And now we'll just occupy all of this. Why not? And I'm very tempted to up this to 20k stacks. Hmm. Should I up it to 20k stack? I'll wait till the end of the war. We'll get another supply train and we'll up it to 20k. I'll be much like more secure with like four 20k stacks. So that's been taken. Let's move here. And then the big, big war is going to be Ashmaka while they've got no gold. And they're not importing salt into our capital. Are you kidding me? That's not cool. And I can't get any more salt in. So, what would a surplus of precious metals give us? National citizen happiness. I can't get any of that. I'll get it for myself because I want the bonus. I'm not bothered about the gold there. I want the bonus. Uh, the next thing I would like is probably get some vegetables, to be honest. Because vegetables, not fish, sorry. Vegetables increase our food modifier by 3%. So we'll get some of that. And that should really help our food, or solve the food issue in the capital that we had. It was only a, like, a small food issue. It wasn't major. Um, second army up here. Is that governor force? Oh, that's why, of course. So get you out of governor control. Unite you. Put you back on governor force. There we go. I think I might upgrade the army here. Yeah, let's upgrade it. That's great. I want another supply train. So that is 17,000, 18, 19, 20, 20, 23 extra units of each. So we'll go for one archer, one chariot, and of course, one light cav. That would work for me, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. This army up here with the heavy infantry, we'll go for heavy infantry, we'll go for heavy cav, heavy infantry, and horse archers, I think, when I can. Now, what about this one here? I think we'll up it to get another supply train. Then we'll get one chariot and one horse, light horseman. I need to increase the flank size because we've gone above the 5, so we'll increase that to 10. And we're good. That's been taken. We'll move over here now. You guys are still warring it out. Good. Lose manpower. I'm going to keep my military experience for the moment as well. I'm not going to spend it straight away when we get 100. I want to keep it for the extra morale it gives us. I do kind of like the morale boost. It is quite useful. The sacking of Puscana. Again, let the loot be gentle. I'm going to integrate them. I think they are of my culture. They are of my culture group, so... That would work for me. Um, let's go and occupy this. You're going to go and occupy this. I think maybe once that is done, I can peace out. Can't ask you for military access. Can I ask you for military access? No. How many boats have you got? 17? I've got 35 here. Let's bring this navy around. I can probably disembark over the shoulder, so let's bring you all the way around here. It's going to take a while to get there, but I'll get the ticking war score once I take this. Still don't know where the enemy troops are. Can't find them. Still making 19 gold. I will up the size of this to 20k as well, I think, when I can. So you're there. You're going to stay here, buddy. Don't need to really move you too much. What's it like now? Ah, still spreading. Good. A lot of wildfire. Is there any more temples I can get in the area? Like down here I can. And we are going to get the extra temples down here. I do want to change this. But you're dying so I'm not going to do it just yet. I'll wait till I put the new governor in. Um, let's uh, just wait down here. I don't need to change anything too much yet. How's this going? This is going back up. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like the way things are working at the moment. Check down here. Quite slow but... Have I got the extra tech level yet? Nearly. October 495. As soon as we get it, I'm changing, get the extra 20% conversion speed. Okay, so I've got the war score now. Can I peace out for this? Negative 28 reasons. So, looks like we're going to have to wait. That's fine. I'll wait. I'm going to get the ticking war score anyway, and I don't can't see where the enemy's going to arrive from. He can literally not arrive like, from anywhere. He's pretty much stuck. Uh, so in the meantime, I suppose I can upgrade this force. So I would like 20,000 men on this one. So I want a, another supply train. And then I'm going to want some heavy cav. So that's 16, 17, 18. Oh, I don't have the gold. Um, 
Get a bit of light cab. And then I'll wait till I get the extra gold for the elephant. I need 26 for an elephant. It costs quite a lot, actually. So that's upgraded to 20,000. Actually, here I already have horse archers. So this actually works quite well for us. So, pop you guys over here. So this is like the horse archer and heavy infantry army. Might as well use it, put it to good use. Um, accident in Tamazan. So we've been told of a major industrial accident to the extent of works in the vicinity of Tamazan in Satigidia. Stone is the main export to the city, and the knuckleheads in charge will allow parts of structural supports to fill in and fall into neglect. So basically, oh god, I can't afford it. Um, so I'm going to take the hit here. Going to lose some slaves, lose some slave output, lose slave happiness. So we're going to take a hit to the gold here, and we finally have the ore tree advance that we. Oh no, it's not ore tree advance, was it? It's religious. We want nope, it's the wrong one. We need ore tree. We need religious advances. So it's going to come up in the next month. In October, it will work. Still make 17 gold though. What are you doing, buddy? You coming down here? Let's kill you. Let's try to force march you. Yeah, I'm going to force march you. It's quicker that way. Um, so what do I need here? We'll check that in a minute. Now I've got the extra advances here. I don't need the martial ethos at the moment. So we're going to go for institutional proselytism. Actually, no. I'm going to get rid of the standard construction at the moment. I want to keep the extra morale for the, for the next war. So I don't plan on building buildings just yet. I don't have too much gold. And we're still waiting for the stuff to convert. So, let's go for this. Pot conversion speed plus 20%. Time devotion, 3-3 three, three stab, which I will take. And this reminds me that I do want to do something quickly. While we have the stability, and I want to go for... I want to integrate some more cultures. So these Shurastran here, they are 504 of them. Let's integrate these guys into citizens. I think it'll be worth it. Because that means we'll get more pop output, we'll produce more, more gold, more manpower, more everything, because we'll be happier. So that would um, solve our problem pretty well. Now you here, what I want to do is get some more units. I want another supply train that I want. So that's 14, that's 15,000 men. That's 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I need one more chariot and one more archer. So I'll wait till next month. Yeah, I'll wait till next month. So one more chariot, one more archer. Beat you there. That's pretty easy. Okay, so one more chariot and not one more archer, one more horseman. One more light cab. There we go. Um, what can I do here? Integration of Anupa. Yeah, they have more loyalty. So fine, I can do that now. Gain some PI for that. Pretty decent. Can I peace out with you fellas now? Nearly. Negative 12 reasons. Oh, I'm at war with you as well. It's when I'm at war with you. I had no idea. I completely forgot. But I can take this out now. Yeah, I can take this as well. That is not a bad thing. Let's go around there and deal with them. Damn, I can't have roads. What do I need to do to build roads? Civic advance is greater than four. When we do get that, I will build a road network. Just because it's just going to make it so much easier for us. So we'll go and occupy the rest of the stuff here. We might as well. No reason why I can't. Adjo Charu Balika died. Poor guy. You commander of the 5th army? No, you weren't commander of anything. I'm bringing you guys to join this heavy infantry unit over there to create another army. Now making less gold, but that's normal. I have increased the size of our army, so it does make sense. But I can actually occupy this as well. Are you still fighting, buddy? You are still fighting, and you've got no gold, and your manpower is still about the same. It's really not changed that much. Where are they? Where's my force? Taking a long time to get there. Where are you going, buddy? Are you not moving? Oh, come on, dude. You're not moving. Let's get around there. I thought I sent you over there. Speculating officially, it's come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Udayan Pradyota, has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket. You thieving old bugger. Such vim, how did he manage it? I don't want to become friends with you. Only real punishment will deter the embezzlers. What do I do to him? What do I do to him? I imprison him. And I gain a grand. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. I imprisoned him. I gained a grand, which would allow me to get some tech, maybe. National tax was 
Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. That would make us a lot more gold. 5% of 96. I'll take that. It would allow us to kind of ma ma like maintain another army, maybe. We'll take it. Get one to 20. Again, just 5 gold, so I think that was worth it. And I've still got a little bit of gold left over. I need a new guy now down in this position. And I'll put the one of the Scorn family members, I think. You're good. Well, you're okay. But you're loyal, so it works for me. So I'll happily take that. Uh, come on, clients. Do the job for us. Do the biz. Occupy his lands. And I'll be happy if you could do that for me. So am I still adding to this unit? I'm still adding war elephants to that one. Anyway, martial advances. Cool. Good. More martial advances. We like that. Governor adopts local mannerisms. So it would appear that Vridtu Hacker Shunga has begun to adopt the mannerisms and habits of the Shurakan people he rules. While popular among the people of his governorship, this change in behaviour is being the subject of derision and contempt in the capital. They will come to accept it eventually. I, I want them to... Yeah, I want them to kind of accept it because I want to integrate them. They're going to be useful when they're integrated. No longer import precious metals. Um, so let's try and get some more then. There we go. Local citizen happiness, why not? Tech rate 86%. 45% release unity now. Yeah, the whole side over here has been pretty much swapped. And here it hasn't because I don't own this, but this is all coming around. And especially with the 20% conversion speed now, it's going to really help us. Uh, the preeminent Mahinda Padrota, apparently you're a man to know. You don't have a big power base, so what of it? If you had a big power base, then yeah, I would have done something. But no, you don't. You have a small power base. This guy has a big power base, though. Um, can I give you a... Why have you lost... Disloyalty inspired, that's why. So it's gonna it's gonna go up on its own. I don't need to kind of waste bribing him. Um you, you're the head of the family, but you're gonna die, you're 71. So yeah, the other one's gonna gain loyalty over time, because someone just inspired disloyalty, so it's gonna go back up to the 33 threshold. Right. Because it'd be good if I could take all this as well. I don't think I can occupy this actually, because I don't have a border with them, do I? No, I can't, I don't have a border. Um so, I don't know why I'm like kind of dragging on here. I just need to peace out as soon as possible. Negative one reason. We can peace out as quickly as possible. I'm going to keep you guys down here though, because we will be attacking from this side. Manu Addendum. Gain six stability for 10 PI. Yes, please. More stability, the better. Um, how about you now? We've still got. Oh, you're massively in debt, buddy. Can I make some more claims on you? I need a little bit more PI. I will make another claim as soon as I can. So tyranny doesn't go down, I've just noticed, if when your ruler dies, it doesn't change. Well, let's fabricate a claim on Kalinga here, it's a big one. Kalinga's a big province, we'll make a claim on that. Can I peace out now, buddy? Very nearly. Very bloody nearly. Maybe we'll one more war score, if we get a 23, we should be fine. So this is the war elephant that we've built. That's good. A pile of state. What do I want here? I can't lose 300 gold for 6 stability. No way. So I'm going to lose a bit of popularity here. And why have I lost war score? I've lost some war score for some reason. Oh, it's gained back up again. Okay. I don't know why I lost some. It doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. Get you off force march now. Get you ready for the battle. I mean, I could go over and occupy some of the enemy's lands down here, but I really can't be bothered. I'm going to rather wait for the ticking war score. I'll just wait for the ticking war score. There we go. See, we've got the ticking war score. It's solved the problem. I only gained five aggressive expansion. That's all right. I'll take all this, definitely. Thank you very much, buddy. And this gives us a border, another border with these guys now. So I can attack them from both sides. However, I am going to fortify the living hell out of this place. Oh, I can't because the province is disloyal. So that is a pain. So what I'm going to do then here is probably fortify... I can't fortify the hell out of anything here. I probably don't need to. Um, how much food do I make here? Enough. I'm going to get some more grain though. Some grain and we'll get some fish. Just so I can maintain this 20k stack as well. 
Now, if I keep them together, we can win this. I have way better tech level than this dude. We have, what, level 4 tech? He's got level 1 tech. Um, yeah, there's no reason why I can't cush this guy. Now, he's got no forts in this area, which means we're going to be able to march down on this guy with ease. You've got no friends. I have a potential civil war still, but... Oh, you've gone down even more? Oh, no, it's not you. It's not that's the wrong guy. See, look, he's going up now. He's at 31. He's now at 32. Once you get rid of the disloyalty-inspired, he's got the biggest power base, so we're going to be fine. Um, hmm, how much gold am I making? 20.56. I could hire a Merc stack. Do I want to hire a Merc stack? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. Well, I could. And what about this Merc stack? Oh, there's like three Marshal General, your shit, mate. What about this one? Yeah, I can hire that 15k Merc stack. Yeah, let's do it. Let's hire him. You can never be sure. Might as well have, like, more men. I can maintain them anyway, so it's really not an issue. Um, by the way, can I build more stuff in my cities now? That is a good question. So, oh, I can. I want more, though. I want more. Another aqueduct here is going to be useful. What about here? No. Can I get rid of... Aha! Here, I can now. I can get rid of the temples. Not all of them, but we can leave two in there. Which then enables me to go academy... Academy and live. Here I can go for a live. Or academy, sorry. Here I've already done it. Here I can get rid of them as well. Um, so I'll go for... We'll leave two in. And we'll go for double live and academy. Here, can I change it? We can as well. This is good stuff. I like this. Get rid of one. We'll go for academy. Here we can get rid of as well. This, all the pops are pretty much done. So we'll get rid of two. We'll go for an academy alive. Double each. Uh, here we'll go for another academy. Here I can't do it yet. Here I can't do it yet either. We need more. And here I can't either. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's check over this section. Here I've done. Here I can't yet either. Here I can get another temple though, which I'm going to do. Speed things up that side. What about over here? Aha, here it's been done. So I can get rid of... I can leave one temple there, to be honest. And then I'll go for Live Academy. Here, I'm going to keep for the moment. Here, yeah, we need to keep it down there. Here it's literally been finished. So let's get rid of one. And we'll go Live. And I think I'll have to wait on the others, to be honest. I don't have the gold. We're going to have to wait a little while. Ah, oh, look at that. There's only like this big desert in the middle here that we need to change, but it's all going to happen on its own, in time, and it's all looking way better than it was before. Anyway, what we've got over here, we've got another army, of course. I might actually just kind of make this a really small one. I might have the gold. Actually, I don't, because I've got the mercs. But I'm going to assign you command. Uh, yeah, you can have command, buddy. You've got extra discipline. Why not? You can have command of the force. Um, I'm going to bring you guys over here. You can stay behind while the others advance. And you can occupy the land while the others advance. That would work for me. Might as well make you see some action. And let's go. So I'm thinking we can probably get the war going very soon. Like literally when my army arrives. Or when my kind of king's army arrives. Where is my king's army? Oh, he's here. Maybe when the mercs arrive as well. Oh, I know why I'm not making enough gold. We're really um, reorganising the mercs, aren't we? Trying to get some extra morale on these guys. Yeah, we're going to take this guy out. We're going to do some serious, serious damage. Have I integrated the guys yet? Not yet. Very close. 75%. Pull down moment again. It's now up to 6.55%. So we'll pull that down. Thank you very much, buddy. I like that a lot. Shorastian culture embraced. Okay, thank you. So, uh, the rising prominence of the Shorastian culture in our nation has led to its mannerisms and habits becoming increasingly accepted, even in the city of Palipatra itself. And I think it nearly finishes the integration process, so we'll take that, no problem. Making a little bit less gold now, I know, but 
Not the end of the world. Give us some extra grain here. We'll get it from the Seleucids. Um, how are you doing, buddies? You are fine. I'm going to get you off unit reorganization now. I would like to add some... Just two units of heavy cam on you if I could. Oh, I can't. I don't have the gold. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. By the way, why are you... Are you on Force March? Why? No, I need you to get some morale back. So you're nearly there. So how do I want to, like, launch my attack this side? Where do I want to go? I probably want to go... I probably need to stick you guys together, so you're going to go here. Don't want to kind of split you up too much. What are the Salukas doing, by the way? Oh, they're slowly getting back to where they want to be. They did have a bit of a hard time, but they're still alive. Uh, Egypt are still there, but Kush is not dead yet. The Antigonids are still there, Macedon's still there, Rome's still there. Carthage taking a bit of time to get going. So you guys have arrived... I'll probably get the war going in the next episode, to be honest. This episode will be a little bit shorter, I think, because if I start the war now, the episode will be an hour long. And it's a little bit too long for my liking. Um, the... who died? Udayin Pajarata died. So all the old guard are suddenly dying. So the one that with the previous ruler who was totally disloyal, they've all gone now. Uh, the wealthy residents of Devin Mori have sent a petition on behalf of the entire province complaining about the harsh wage of their governor. You've got 100% corruption in Avanti, and I can get rid of you, though, buddy. So I can remove this miser. Yep, so I get rid of that guy. So you're now gone. Now I'm get a new governor in Avanti now, and we get a better one, and we get a decent one. Who is not corrupt. So let's go for... You're not corrupt, but you're old. I want someone who's kind of youngish. No, not you either. Oh, they're all really old. And all the young ones aren't very good. Um, you're just too corrupt though, buddy. So, I might actually put you, you're loyal to me. You're old, but you are loyal. Yeah, I'll put you. Bomb sold. Uh, now, who's got high power base and who's peed off with us? Someone wants us... Ah, uh, you. The general of the army. So I need to bribe you, buddy, I'm afraid. The general of the... First army? So where was he? Where's the first army? Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, you were going down here, but you're going to stay there, buddy. You don't want to move. I want to keep you loyal as you can be. I'm making seven gold now. Can I make like any like units of heavy cav around here? No, I can't. What if I imported heavy like units? What if I imported stuff? Oh, I don't have any extra trade routes. That's a shame. Well, I can add them now. Let's add two units of heavy cav. They'll join because they're just going to stay behind and occupy the land. These two 20k stacks are going to march forward. Uh, where are you going, buddy? You can go here and start occupying this section. And as soon as they're in place, we're going to go. And I think I planned it fairly well. I mean, I'm confident that we can take him on. I mean, I mean, you have way confident. We've got way more men than this guy. Uh, Vildaka Bidrihadrata died. Don't know who you were. You were very important. Uh, twisting the knife. Ajat Sharu, the first Moria, for reasons only unto himself, has begun to view Karvinatha, Shunga, we jealousy and distrust, and you're the governor of Madiadesa, and you start seeing this arrival. That's not cool. Um, anyway, you're in place, you're in place, you're also in place, which is going to go here. And I'm going to end the episode here, people. Thank you so much for joining me. In the next one, we shall take on Ashmaka and just pretty much take him from both sides. Try and take as much land as I can possibly take without getting too much aggressive expansion. Um, I could probably go for another claim before I start. You know what? Let's just... I mean, how long have I got? Yeah, let's actually finish till this claim. And then I want to make another one. So I've got a claim on you. And now I can make another one on Andara, which is the land down here. So it's going to reduce the war score cost even more. Now I've got claims on pretty much everything. So I'll definitely do that. 
Uh, but anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please consider subscribing to the channel for more. It does mean a lot. And with that said and done, thanks for being here, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.